हेलो एवरी वन सो टुडे विल स्टडी द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन्स एंड वेव गाइड्स ट्रांसमिशन लाइन्स एंड वेव गाइड्स ओके सो लाइक यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन ओके वी हैव टू पिक्चर्स तो द फर्स्ट पिक्चर करस्पॉन्स टू द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन where you can see actually there are the two uh, conductors you can see here okay separated by some distance uh whereas the other geometry you can see here which is actually referred as a wave guide okay so here you can see this is a typically one enclosed conductor okay that could be uh, the rectangular or in a circular shape actually and here this is this part is particularly the metal part and this is completely hollow in nature fine so uh let us now discuss about uh, the modes okay so like uh, given in a particular conductor geometry you know for a transmission line or maybe this is a wave guide only certain pattern of the electric and magnetic fields which we call as a modes which we call as a modes actually can exist for the propagating wave fine so these modes must be solution to the governing differential equations we also call this is a wave equations fine so uh so while satisfying uh, definitely uh, when we are talking about this modes and all actually this supposed to be uh, satisfying certain boundary conditions fine so we'll be talking about those things separately now <coughs> let me uh, further uh uh try to get the details of the transmission line so this transmission line with the two uh, or more conductors okay two or more conductors ha huh? so like when we are talking about this like you must have seen in a daily life also that two wire system coaxial line and many more actually and another part is that uh here we can define a unique current and voltage unique current and voltage and definitely there will be a characteristic impedance mainly represented at z not okay so we'll be will be will be uh, defining some of the equations here like uh, you already seen in a transmission line lectures okay now talking about the wave guide here this particular part so this is typically one enclosed conductor and basically uh, it comes with the shape of uh, the rectangular or uh, it, you will also see in a circular form and other uh, uh, modified version are also available okay so <coughs> here uh, the issue is that we cannot define actually uh, the unique uh, voltage and current along with the wave guides fine so this is one of the restriction here and we supposed to use uh, the field equations solving these things fine now okay so uh, let us talk about uh, the propagating modes along uh, the transmission line okay so propagating modes okay along with the your transmission line tl stand for the transmission line or the wave guide fine right? so uh, this may be classified accordingly to which the field components are present or not present in the wave actually fine so 
the field component in the direction of the wave propagations are defined as uh, can you guess this is we defined as a longitudinal component okay what i'm saying the field component in the direction of the wave propagations are defined as the longitudinal components while those perpendicular to the direction of the propagate propagation and defined as a transverse component right so we call it a transverse component So now we have uh, here the idea about the longitudinal component and the transverse components. Okay. Now uh, what we can do here? Let us assume, assuming the transmission line or waveguide is oriented with its axis along the z-axis. Let's say, okay. I'm saying that transmission line or the waveguide, okay, uh, is oriented uh, with its axis along the z-axis, okay, and this is actually uh, you can say this is the direction of the wave propagation also. This is what direction of the wave propagation. Fine. Now, depending upon this, actually, we can classify the modes, okay, in uh, waveguide as well as the transmission lines. Fine. So, how we can uh, classify these things? So, we can say the first is the TEM mode. Okay. What is TEM? TEM is a transverse transverse electromagnetic wave electromagnetic uh, sorry modes okay so the second is the te mode okay what is that this is transverse electric mode fine transverse electric mode fine another one is TM mode we call as a transverse magnetic mode. Transverse magnetic mode. Fine. And the fourth one is your, can you guess? This is a hybrid mode actually. Uh, we named as HE or EH mode. Fine. So this is we call as a hybrid mode. So, like uh, these are the typical uh, way of representing the modes, fine. Now, <coughs> uh, now let us try to understand, okay, what are these modes actually. So, we already discussed that uh, these modes is the arrangement of the electric and magnetic field inside the waveguide. And the whole thing is propagating along the direction of the propagation so let us start uh, with the first one which is we call as a uh, transverse electromagnet electromagnetic mode which is tem mode fine okay so basically uh, the electric field and magnetic fields are transverse to the direction of the wave propagation with no longitudinal component it means what i'm saying that ez and hz both will be zero fine again i'm repeating the electric and magnetic fields are transverse to the direction of the wave propagation with no longitudinal component it means the ez and hz will be zero fine now another property here is that okay the tm mode cannot exist on the single conductor guiding structure okay so 
so tm mode cannot exist on single conductor guiding structure fine another is that like the tm mode are sometimes we called as a transmission line mode also okay transmission line mode also fine so because uh, they are dominant uh, uh, modes on the transmission lines fine so that is why we are calling as a transmission line modes okay and many of the rf engineer you will be hearing about uh, this term fine and uh, one more thing like uh, you must aware about the plane waves also so the plane waves can also be classified as a tm modes right so this is all about the tem mode now coming on the t mode fine so let us discuss this thing so when we talk about the t modes or transverse electric modes so these electric field the electric fields here actually is a transverse to the direction of the propagations okay ha huh? so it means that uh, like if you are moving in a z direction okay so electric fields may be this uh, along the orth along the orthogonal of uh, uh, the propagations fine so it means uh, there is no longitudinal electric field components will be existing here but there is a catch here while the magnetic field has both transverse as well as longitudinal component okay so if i summarize this actually so what i can write that for the t mode the ez is zero fine this is along the direction of the propagation but at the same time hz will not zero it means that there will be uh, a component existing of magnetic field along the direction of the propagation hopefully this is making a sense now coming over the third type of the mode which is a tm mode tm mode fine so what is that so here somewhat uh, opposite of the te mode okay so the magnetic field uh, is transverse to the direction of the propagation here fine and there will be no longitudinal magnetic field components okay but there will be a electric field component okay in both means transverse and longitudinal components will exist so if i summarize this so i can write here hc will be zero but ez is not equal to zero fine so hopefully this is making sense in a t mode we have ez is equal zero where there will be a component along the direction of the propagation in a t mode whereas there will be component of electric field in a direction of the propagation and tm mode fine so this is uh, somewhat the opposite each other fine okay now <coughs> if you see this t and tm modes actually so commonly these two modes referred as these two modes referred as a wave guide mode okay what we call as a wave guide modes okay so since they are only modes which can exist in enclosed guiding structure fine okay so that is why we calling as a wave guide modes fine now the t and tm mode are characterized by the cut off frequency cut off frequency both the modes actually having a cut off frequencies means that 
below this frequency actually there is a no propagation fine below cut off there will be no propagation please remember these things fine and the t and tm mode can exist on a transmission line fine means i'm talking about the two wire system t and tm mode can exist on a transmission line but generally this is undesirable okay because this transmission line are typically operated at uh, frequencies below the cutoff frequencies of te and tm mode so that only tem mode exist fine now coming on uh, the hybrid modes now fourth one hybrid modes so when we say the hybrid modes so as i already mentioned so there will be uh, two way are representing this thing eh mode or he mode fine so both here like both electric and magnetic fields have the longitudinal component fine what i'm saying that hz is not zero here as well as ez is also not zero here earlier we saw that there will be at least one component is zero along the direction of the propagation okay now so why uh, the two uh, nomenclature here okay so let us try to understand so the longitudinal electric field is uh, dominant okay the dominant in the eh mode okay what i'm saying the longitudinal electric field is dominant in where in the eh mode fine while while the longitudinal magnitude the longitudinal magnetic field magnetic field is dominant in the h mode So again, I'm just repeating these things. So in a EH mode, the longitudinal electric field is dominating, whereas in HE mode, okay, longitudinal magnetic field is dominating. Okay, so that is why we are writing first these things E or H. So in EH mode, E is dominating. In HE mode, that H is dominating. Fine. So. basically these hybrid uh, modes are commonly found uh, in a wave guide and uh, definitely with the in homogeneous dielectric uh, and and also you can see uh, the similar things happening in a optical fibers fine now so let us talk about uh, journal guided wave solution here so with this actually now we have ideas about uh, the mode okay in a wave guides fine now we need to uh, find the mathematical solutions here so we'll be uh, writing these things some journal wave uh, solutions here and definitely this should be uh, with the help of the maxwell equations and all okay so let us discuss uh, the journal guided wave solution fine fine so as i mentioned that we may recall the maxwell equation so what we can do actually we may write journal solutions to the fields uh, associated with the waves uh, basically that is propagating on the guided structures 
and here we can use the maxwell equations fine so we may assume uh, uh, some points actually correct here uh, for this guiding structure uh, so I'm, I'm i'm writing down please check here so the first is uh, the guiding structure is infinity infinity long okay and this is oriented along uh, the z direction fine and uh, yes there is a one more thing that it should be uniform okay uniform along the length along the length so that our life will be easy when we are deriving these equations fine the second is uh, yes the guiding structure is uh, constructed from ideal materials fine so when i say the ideal material like i am talking about the conductors like perfect electric conductors okay uh, so you may use uh, coppers okay fabricating this uh, waveguide uh, things and uh, when we are talking about the fillings of this thing so we may use the insulators which may be the lossless basically fine and the last assumption is that uh, yes this is somewhat uh, very important to have that fields are time harmonic fine so when we are taking these three assumptions actually hmm, so definitely we may recall uh, the maxwell equation and uh, yes uh, we can write some equations to get uh, something about uh, the wave guiding structures like its cutoff frequencies okay uh, the beta and all fine now so i was talking about uh, the maxwell equations actually fine so hopefully you will be keeping uh, these three assumptions while uh, having the wave equation okay your general uh, wave equation solutions for the wave guide structures okay? now recalling the curl equations here okay you might be uh, knowing about this okay these are the curl equations and what else del cos h is equal j omega epsilon d fine so we have this curl equation and uh, the fields of the guiding structures must satisfy okay the source free maxwell equation which is given by this okay this is a source free we didn't consider here the source actually later on uh, we'll include the things because uh, having the idea about the boundary conditions yes we may write certain things that is why we are taking initially here the source free maxwell equations right now so for a wave uh, propagating along the guiding structure okay let us say here the z direction uh, we supposed to write here the uh, the associated electric and magnetic fields right so yes we may write some equations here please check this e okay this is a function of x y z and that could be uh, written here e times e is a function of x y plus e z okay i am explaining what is e and e z and other things x comma y a z cap yes so i was talking about uh, the time harmonic definitely we supposed to add these things e to the power minus j beta z this is the direction of the propagation and if you if you want to include the time component you supposed to multiply with e to the power j omega t okay so this time i am not writing this thing we'll be recalling in a final equation this thing and the magnetic field component could be written in a similar sense like h 
is a function of x y plus x z is a function of x y okay and this wave just the wave uh, actually is moving along the z direction so let us once again writing here e to the power j beta so fine now here the vector e is a function of x y and h vector h these are all are the vector okay uh, these all are the vector please take care this is vector this is vector okay and these are the unit vector we put it here so this whole thing will be the vector okay? now so uh, this e and h okay is a function of x y these represent actually the transverse field component okay basically what this is the transverse field components huh? fine whereas if you see these things this ez and hz is a function of x y are the what the longitudinal components of the wave So yes, definitely one can write because we are uh, from the beginning of this, we are talking about the transverse component, we are talking about the longitudinal component. So yes, this is one of the better way of writing the E field and H field and the propagation in this format. It would be easy to uh, see the things actually what we are trying to represent okay, or what we are trying to visualizing actually we are writing in terms of the equations. okay. Now, what is the next actually? The next is by expanding the curl operator. Fine, this things here. Okay, in the rectangular coordinate system, here you can use this thing because uh, we yet not fixed actually this thing. So yes, we can um, uh, we can use the rectangular coordinates, and uh, what we can do the we can. Uh, noting that the derivatives okay of the transverse components with respect to z uh, can be solved further fine so hopefully you can manage this part okay so i'm writing the final equations here fine so this will be do e x over do z is equal to j beta e x okay other one is do e y do z is equal j beta e y okay where the beta is a propagation constant why do h x over do z is equal j beta hx and do hy over do z is equal j beta hy fine hopefully uh, you can uh, manage uh, these things fine from the curl equations fine huh? so i suggest you please try uh, these things now uh, the next part is that uh, we can equate okay the vector components on each side of uh, the equations okay uh, to write actually uh, the components of the electric and magnetic field and these are the six components fine so so what we can write actually j omega E x is equal do h z over do y plus j beta h y. So let us say this is equation one a. Fine. J omega epsilon e y 
इज इक्वल टू माइनस जे बीटा एच एक्स माइनस डो एच सॉरी दिस विल बी सी एक्स दिस इज वन बी एंड द थर्ड इक्वेशन विल बी जे ओमेगा साइलन ई जेड इज इक्वल टू डो एच वाई डो एक्स माइनस डो एच एक्स ओवर डो वाई वन सी फाइन फाइन ओके द रेस्ट ऑफ द थ्री क्वेश्चन विल बी माइनस जे ओमेगा होपफुली यू कैन सॉल्व दिस ओके यू सपोज टू परफॉर्म अ सिंपल मैट्रिक्स ऑपरेशन ऑफ प्रीवियस कॉल इक्वेशन दिस थिंग्स एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग दिस पार्ट फाइन एच एक्स इज इक्वल डो ई जेड ओवर डो वाई प्लस जे बीटा ई वाई माइनस जे ओमेगा म्यू एच वाई माइनस जे बीटा दिस विल बी ई एक्स माइनस डो ई जेड ओवर डो एक्स लेट एस से दिस इज टू ए दिस इज टू बी एंड द लास्ट वन इज माइनस जे ओमेगा म्यू एच जी इज इक्वल डो ई वाई ओवर डो एक्स माइनस डो ई एक्स ओवर डो वाई दिस इज टू सी सो बेसिकली वंस यू हैव दिस इक्वेशन एक्चुअली सो इक्वेशन वन and this is equation number 2 fine these all are valid for any any wave propagating in z direction in a source field region with propagation constant of beta okay so it may be the guided structure or it may be unguided structure everywhere this is true fine ha huh? particularly we are talking about here the source free reason because we started with the curl equation the source free fine now the next is uh, we may uh, use this equations what we wrote here 1a 1b 1c and 2a 2b uh, 2c to solve uh, the longitudinal field components in terms of the transverse field components okay means little bit manipulation is required and uh, definitely you will be writing uh the longitudinal field components okay in terms of the transverse component fine means uh you supposed to write actually what you need to write that ex okay ey hx and hy what in terms of in terms of ez and hz fine so this actually you supposed to write in terms of what again repeating ez and hz correct by using of course these equations fine so hopefully you will do this things correct and uh, you will uh, come up with the solutions also so final equation i can give you you please verify those things fine so the first equation will be ex is equal minus j kc square beta do ez over do x plus omega mu do hz over do y ey is equal j over kc square minus beta do ez over do y plus omega mu do h z over do x and of course h x will be j k c square and k c is what k c is actually defined as a cut off wave number i will be explaining what is that omega epsilon do e z over do y minus beta do h z over do x fine and the last one is h y which is minus j over kc square omega epsilon do ex over do e do x sorry plus beta do hz over do y where kc is a cut off wave number and it is given as kc is equal so kc square is equal 
k square minus beta square. Fine. So basically, uh, this cutoff wave number for the wave guiding structure, any wave guiding structure, is basically determined by the wave number. Fine. Uh, uh, for the insulating media through which the wave propagates. Fine. Uh, so we are aware about this relations also. Fine. And uh, definitely a uh, propagation constant which is a beta. Propagation constant. Fine. So, are you getting this thing? So, we are defining here the Kc, okay, okay, combination of these two actually, that uh, this wave guiding structure, okay, so how this, uh, uh, it is going through the insulating media, uh, through the wave is propagating and uh, also the propagation uh, uh, constant, uh, okay, for the structure okay so you please note it down uh, here uh, the equation okay for the transverse component of uh, these fields uh, this is actually valid for all the modes actually we defined previously means i'm talking about all the modes t tm okay or uh, hybrid modes and all okay so these transverse field components equations can be uh, specialized for uh, for each one of these guided structure modes fine so hopefully uh, like uh, uh, we can connect the modes and uh, the equations actually because we supposed to get the final equations okay fine and uh, we'll be defining uh, later on uh, the cutoff frequencies and uh, other aspects of the wave guide so in the next class what we will do actually will be uh, going through the tem mode okay in very detail and we'll be writing all the components okay we'll be defining the impedance part also fine and uh, finally we'll be getting a solution for this and uh, once this is done actually we'll be doing the the t mode and tm modes fine so this is all about for this class uh, next time we'll see uh, the other aspects of these uh, different modes thank you so much